very very small knot runs through the guys very well and um, yeah I mean Chinese finger trap is basically what it is uh, crazy Alberto knot I think it's called that as well <laughs> Today I'm going to show you a basic uh, knot and it's a knot I use to tie most of my main line to uh, my leaders whether it be braid uh, to floral or braid to mono or mono to floral or etc. I mean pretty much this is the only knot I use when I'm joining two lines together uh, whether I'm putting backing on or whether I'm running a leader on on some other main line. So, uh, what I'm going to be joining today is basically some uh, some Power Pro braid. I believe it's 20 or 30 pound, and we're going to be tying it to some FC Sniper 7 pound uh, fluorocarbon, uh, which is pretty much a standard setup for me when it comes to throwing drop shot or Cinco. I mean, sometimes I go down to six pound, but uh, but basically, the concept is the same. Um, I'm definitely not a master tying this knot. Uh, I think the knot works well for me. Uh, another knot that I want to try to learn and master is the FG knot. Um, it just, to me, it's a little bit harder to tie, and I haven't really uh, practiced it enough to get good at it. Uh, this one I'm still learning, um, especially with braid. Braid is so flimsy that um, I have a hard time dealing with it with my fingers and getting it to move properly. So, but I do get it done, and it works very well. So we're going to end up tying this knot today. And I'm going to run through it, and hopefully I don't screw up too bad. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can put it on this box. Let's see how small it is. Let's see if that will focus in on that. But very, very small knot. Runs through the guys very well. And, um, yeah, I mean, Chinese finger trap is basically what it is. Uh, Crazy Alberto knot, I think it's called that as well. I'm sure it has many other names on the Internet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so let's get through it. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> all right guys so oh, let me get my glasses so I can see yes because my eyes are old all right so I'm gonna take your floral here we're gonna form a loop small loop half loop and we're basically gonna run our braid through the top of it give ourselves a little bit of braid to work with then I'm gonna take my thumb and forefinger here and I'm gonna pinch a small loop and the braid together so basically holding those like that now we're gonna wrap our braid over the floral six times so there's one two three four five and six okay now we're gonna wrap back the opposite direction six times so I'm going to pinch this, and braid is so flimsy that I pretty much have to flip it. With other line, you, you can kind of work it with your fingers, but I haven't found a good way to, to do this, so I just flip it over. And then, after it goes over, I repinch it. And then I flip it again, so there's two, wrap it tight, grab it again, pinch it, three, five. and six. Alright, once I have the six turn, I pinch everything and I let go of the other end. And what you're left with is the main line coming into that small loop. You got your tag in here that we're going to feed through the loop. Go back out the top of the loop and you're going to end up with basically both lines coming out out top of that loop. Now, we're going to moisten the knot, and basically pull tight. I usually let go of the tag in and pull with just the main line, and then squeeze on that knot just to make sure it's 
pulling down all the way and it's nice and tight but you don't want to overdo it I mean it's basically a Chinese finger trap so it's gonna tighten more the more you pull it but the same token we're using seven pound test here so you're gonna put 10 pounds of pressure on a seven pounds test it's gonna break so you don't need a lot of pressure but what you want is just a nice even knot it's very very skinny as you can see I don't know if that's focusing or not Let's see if I can show you on my thumb here very very tight knot very skinny so I can get a good representation there I mean it's pretty tight pretty small now we're going to cut off the tag in usually what I do here is I take the tag in, put it in my teeth, and pull on the main line to put some straight pressure, and then run my scissors down toward the knot, and then cut. When I feel that scissor hit that knot, that's where I know where to cut and you pretty much end up with no tag which is what you want goes through the guys really easy now I'm going to grab the main line and the main fluoro exposing the tag end of the fluoro and take the scissors as close as I can and oops it's like I didn't get it close enough I could a little bit more yeah it's alright and cut that tag end off and you left with a very very small very good knot I don't know if you can see that very strong knot the knot strength on this Alberto knot is really really good and for tying braid the floral to me this is one of the best uh, the FG knot is on my list to learn but I just haven't uh, mastered it yet <laughs> haven't really mastered this one either yet but still a very good knot you can see how small it is goes through the guys very very easy doesn't get hung up and now you just pick out how much leader length you want and cut your floral and tie your hook on and you're good to go we are fishing alright guys thanks for watching